Excellent question. All right. Uh, we've got a young man back here. What things did you have to study to be an astronaut? All right, that's a good question. You guys are all extraordinarily trained. What uh, if, if we've got some budding astronauts uh, over here, what, uh, what should they be doing? I'm assuming they better uh, hit the books on science and math. That's uh, you got it just right. The uh, one of the beautiful things about uh, getting to work here is uh, you can study uh, just about anything that uh, that you're really interested in. Uh, science and math being a big part of it, but we have uh, uh, medical doctors, uh, geologists, uh, engineers, and, uh, and a physicist in the group here with us. Um, so it's uh, pretty much anything in the math and science field. Uh, we've got a couple of school teachers here with us, um, so uh, studying education as well as uh, the math and science. But there really is uh, room up here for uh, for everybody. The uh, important part, though, is to uh, work really hard and uh, and do well in school. It uh, it'll make a difference in your future. And, and what about uh, what about fitness requirements these days? Uh, you know, some of us remember watching uh, the right stuff where. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Uh, the, the, uh, the, well, Mr. President, is, is there the, uh, a particular are still, uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mr. President, the, uh, the fitness requirements are still uh, still there. Matter of fact, uh, the International Space Station just recently incorporated a new uh, fitness machine. Uh, it's like it's a very very fancy. Uh, workout machine you see in a, in a gym, but it's called the A Red, and we can do a lot of uh, good exercise on it. Uh, leg exercise, strength uh, training for your legs as well as your upper body. So, it, it, particularly for the long duration folks, it's uh, very important to maintain uh, uh, your muscles in good tone and uh, help you readapt when you get back on planet Earth. Excellent. Okay, there's a young lady back here had a question. Um, when you say you exercise, what do you do? Well, we have a couple of different uh, exercise machines up here on the space shuttle we brought up. It looks like a like a bicycle that you would find in a gymnasium, so we can use that. And they have one here on the space station. And the other machine, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can uh, do squats. Uh, you can do curls. So we have a lot we can do. We also have a treadmill, so you can go ahead and run up here in space. Any, this, okay, we've got uh, another question from a young man. Hold on. Do you know how many stars there are in, in the space? Asking how many stars in space. I'll be interested in hearing the answer to this one. <laughs> well, uh, aboard the International Space Station, we can look down and see our beautiful planet Earth, and we can also look up and see the rest of the cosmos. And we can see that there are so many stars out there that it's very hard to count them all. And we can see that our Earth is a very small, very small planet in such a big universe. And it's just really amazing because it gives us a, a, a deep perspective of that we have to really take good care of our own planet. And that our own planet is just a, is a small place, and we have the whole rest of the universe to work together in an, in an international sense and go go explore this whole universe that's in front of us and all the discoveries that we'll make together. So maybe we'll someday be able to count how many stars that we have because we've, we're starting to go to the go to the stars as human beings together. And uh, that's what's really exciting about serving aboard the International Space Station and flying up and down on space shuttles is that we're, we're part of that great adventure. And we need you kids to study hard because uh, we, we can't do it all by ourselves. We really need you guys to, to work hard and uh, and do whatever you're supposed to do and do it well, uh, like Tony said, because uh, there's a whole whole universe in front of us. 